Hey there, welcome back to the garage. If you've ever ridden a motorcycle, you know that getting them into neutral usually is pretty easy. The hardest time is when you're in the middle of an intersection and you need to get it in neutral to start. Unfortunately, this Janus has a requirement. It will not start unless it is in neutral. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna get in here and show you how to bypass the neutral safety switch on this motorcycle. On this bike, I'm almost certain that the neutral safety switch is down here, and so the line for it is in one of these enclosed things. Of course, from the factory, they've done all this wire management to make it look nice, but it makes it hard to get at things. What I'm going to do is we're going to take the tank off, because these wires come up, up under here. There's a little enclosure that holds and manages all of our wires and relays and things like that. It'll probably be easiest to get to things up here. So let's get this tank off and then take a look. Notice there is a smaller bolt and a larger one. The smaller one looks like it holds this metal enclosure for all the wire management. The large one with the washer is what holds on the tank. So make sure you're taking the right one off. There are a couple of cap screws back up in here. So it looks like we have to take this air box out in order to get to those. Now that I have the bolts out back here, it appears that it's still attached real well. So I think there's probably something inside up into the frame. So we're gonna take this cover off and take a look. of bolts I feel like about 10 millimeter up inside here so we're gonna have to take those out once we have those out the only thing that holds this air box on is this intake tube here so hose clamp we can take that right off the whole thing should swing right out What I had to do was push the, this air cleaner housing, I pushed it this way to get this hose as far back on it as I could, and that let me pull it off the carburetor here. So it's really held on now just by two hoses. This is the overflow here. And then this is the, uh, the, the petcock shutoff, so the supply line. I've turned it off here, so I should be able to disconnect the hose here and here. And as long as I keep it reasonably level, and as long as that petcock actually is in the off position, I should be able to take this tank off and won't make a mess. I've disconnected both hoses. Fuel didn't come pouring out, so that's a good sign. place we want to look is the starter relay here. That's this guy right here. The wires we're interested in are right here. These two green ones. So what we want is we want to pull this plug out. We're going to depin it. Then we will run that to ground so that the light still works, but have it disconnected from this plug so that the uh, the starter switch doesn't require it to be a neutral. It'll make a little more sense once I actually get it apart and show you. If you're not familiar with this kind of connector, it's got a little lock pin on the underside. So it's it looks a lot like a spade, but see this little notch right here, 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 and here? need something long and thin. Flat helps a little bit, but get in under there, push it all the way in, 
and then give it a little leverage and there we go and it comes out you can see this little tab here is what was locking it in next I created a pigtail this is a Packard connector but it's really similar it's close enough to these in fact it's a little bit better of a connector it holds better so I'm going to take the Packard connector and the other end is just bare so just a little pigtail run that down in now that I've got this pigtail in here by connecting it to this connector basically I've replicated what was there before so we should be able to put it into neutral and if I push start it should crank if it's not in neutral now it shouldn't okay that behaves as it used to so we're good put an eye on this guy this looks like a good spot here I'm going to leave this just bare for right now. We'll take care of that in a minute once we test that that's doing what we want. We are in gear. We'll hold in the clutch. Push the starter button. There we go. And now we want to make sure that this doesn't contact anything and cause problems. I'm going to leave it on here because I can always remove this wire that I put in and run that back into the connector and return it back to factory. So I'm just going to take a piece of heat shrink, slide it down on here. There we go. Now I'm going to shrink that and we can put everything back together. All right, I put and shrunk that down. I'm going to take this, tie it to this pigtail once you have the tank bolted on don't forget to reconnect the fuel line and vent hose on the other side Now that we've got it reassembled, one final test. Turn it on. In neutral. First gear, hold in the clutch. We've successfully bypassed the neutral safety for being able to start it. Thanks for watching.